Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about Android Enterprise Walk Profile specific to VPN configuration. To create that, you can point to Microsoft Intune and then click on Device Configuration, choose Profile, click on Create Profile and give a meaningful name. In my case, I'm going to here give us a base VPN and meaningful description followed by platform you can choose a platform here as since we are trying to do the configuration for android enterprise i have to choose as android enterprise choose the profile type in this case it's going to be vpn specific in the previous lectures we also covered how uh, all the configurations from the top to till wi-fi now we are pending with vpn configuration hence we are choosing the vpn profile and uh, when you click on uh, settings you have the vpn server configuration to be entered here uh, to begin with here you have the connection name uh, this is the connection name which will be appear on the device so you can configure here or you can give the some uh, meaningful uh, vpn connection name for example if this vpn connection is relevant to your uh, maybe australia a VPN service then you can give as the Australian VPN service name I'll be into here and uh, here IP address or FQDN of your VPN server in the most of the uh, most of the time your VPN server wherever it is uh, available that might be on a public IP or it might be registered that public IP with some kind of DNS suffix or DNS uh, fully qualified domain name so you need to enter that specific uh, a public IP or maybe a DNS uh, name of that VPN server. In this case, I would like to enter my public VPN server name like 45.65.2, which I have entered, which is going to be my uh, public IP of my VPN server. And uh, this is where I'm going to dial from my device uh, with this base VPN configuration. And here, the authentication method uh, you can choose here as the certificate or maybe username and password. And if I choose as the username and password, I can choose also type of the VPN VPN server so that this VPN client configuration will be pushed to the devices. So in my case, I'm going to choose as, uh, let me show you here, like you need to enter these information. And for example, if I choose checkpoint uh, capsule VPN server, this specific to fingerprint information has to be provided by your VPN server admin. Similarly, if I choose Cisco any connect, uh, it's all done that uh, you don't need to enter anything other than the Cisco any connect similarly uh, Sonicwall and FI and uh, Pulse Secure these doesn't require any additional configurations once you have chosen your required uh, configuration server or the VPN server information then click on OK that would create actually VPN configuration especially for the work profile relevant and click OK that's going to create now a VPN profile and once the VPN profile is created, you can assign this specific setting to the relevant groups. Make sure that you design properly the security groups so that you can easily assign all these groups, all these uh, profiles. Because we have so far almost covered uh, more than 31 different uh, videos which has all these configurations uh, similar to what we have done in this uh, video section and it might lead to some kind of confusion that's why you are better to you know design a uh, proper uh, naming convention and proper settings only uh, to be applied for that specific ad groups or azure ad group so in my case i'm going to apply for only finance users group as uh, target and i'm saving that so it's going to uh, apply for that specific group that concludes how to create the specific uh, work profile VPN uh, configuration and assignment. Thank you for watching this.